Welcome back everybody. I hope you had fun with your handwriting and I can't wait to see your pictures. Um, so mums and dads, please, please, please send them. Um, today we are going to be doing time and mums and dads, this is going to be a very practical activity. In each child's flippy, we have a clock that we made ourselves and um, they're going to use that to practically show you the time. Now today we are just focusing on o'clock because that is what we've done in class. Um, next week we can do a little bit of half past but our children have not yet done anything past that. So we've only done o'clock and half past. Alright so just to recap what we did in class we have two hands on the clock. We have our minute hand and we have our hour hand. Okay. So there are 60 seconds in one minute and there are 60 minutes in one hour. So what that means on the clock is that this minute hand will travel all the way around the clock for 60 minutes for one hour to go past. So for this hand to move from one number to the next number. The start of the hour always starts at the 12, at the top of our clock. And then we are going to move that way around the clock. Okay, so the start of our hour starts here. So it is zero minutes past whatever the o'clock is. All right. So if I say that the time is eight o'clock, o'clock means that my minute hand is pointing to the 12, which means it's zero minutes, and that's why it's called o'clock because the o is a zero okay so my minute hand will point to the 12 and then my hour hand will point to whatever hour it is so if it is eight o'clock my hour hand will point to the eight so let's do some practice rounds shall we if i say the time is one o'clock I hear the word o'clock, so I know my minute hand must go to the 12 because it's zero minutes. And my hour hand will move to the 1. Now the time is 1 o'clock. Okay, let's do another one. If I say the time is 5 o'clock, my minute hand will be at the 12 because it's zero minutes. And my hour hand will be at the 5. The time now says 5 o'clock. Let's do one more. The time is 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. So I know that my long minute hand needs to go to the 0, to the 12, because there's 0 minutes, O minutes. And then my hour hand is going to move to the 9 because there's 9 o'clock. All right, so mums and dads, I want you to please give your children times. Tell them 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And let them practice showing you uh, what the time will look like on their clock. What we do in class is teach a shout out a random time. I give them five seconds to quickly move their hands where they need to be and they have to keep it a secret and then I say three, two, one, reveal and then they show me their answer and it's either correct or incorrect and if it's incorrect you just show them how um, the hands should look so that they can see what mistake they did make. I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun with this and next week we will go on with half past. Have fun guys, have a fantastic weekend, teacher loves you lots.